Hey everyone, welcome to another Anime Kingdom review. See by title below. Yes, this is on episode 20 of Recreators and yeah, I know. Sorry that this is several days late. I, I apologize for that, but finally did find the time after, you know, gain, you know, rid of all that stuff that I was busy with and finally did find the time to go ahead and make this video and go ahead and watch the episode. And all I got to say, guys, is holy crap. This episode was just like just 100% I can't say anything bad about it. It was that good. Like I literally loved it from the beginning to the end it starts off like oh my gosh what are they gonna do you know literally it seems that all is lost it I'm super sad still yet because even by the end of this episode it looks like that you know um celestia is not going to be coming back alistaria is not going to be coming back it looks like everyone who has died is probably gonna stay dead and including by the looks of it that i'm not too sure for you know if they really are dead for sure because they were lying there but there's a chance that Sho and Yuya are dead as well. Which, when I saw Yuya get stabbed in the back, I was like, oh, come on. I, he was, like, the last character that I really did not want to die, you know? And, of course, the last people standing is pretty much just Blitz. Hikayu, at the beginning, you saw. She lost her powers. And unfortunately, like we keep saying, Altair is literally just plain OP. She's unstoppable. And, you know, just like I said before, she's pretty much using the birdcage, their idea, against them. And that's pretty much what happens here. Um, they, no one can beat her. She's using the acceptance for herself and everything. And instead of a birdcage, like Meteor said, it ends up becoming a booster. And pretty much, just throughout the whole episode, it's just a mixture of, like, ups and downs. One moment, it looks like all is lost. The next moment, they come out of nowhere. This part, I literally... Honestly, this is why I thought this episode was so awesome, was I was so surprised that this actually happened. Like, you know, for the longest time, everyone thought the whole thing, the last, you know, the last thing that they had, you know, in store to be able to handle going up against Altair was, of course, what we did see at the very end. That part, of course, you know, going towards the end, then it started to be like, oh, yeah, I expected that. Uh, I expected that. Nonetheless, it was still awesome. But I had no idea they were going to make another creation and it was going to be pretty much an exact replica of Altair named Sirius. And pretty much is like the final concept design made by Setsuna, I think, as well. And at first I was kind of thinking, so wait, is this, you know, what, um, what's it called, Sota created or is this some, you know, something else? And of course it turns out being that they've been putting this in the works in the prequel and all the stuff to be able to make this character with like minimal acceptance as you can see that she pretty much barely talked or anything and she she had no personality which is why right from the get-go when i heard like she had no you know personality of her own and everything when it came to the point where she was trying to swallow up all tiger's existence which it pretty much almost happened um i knew for a fact that she she was going to be taking over like there was no doubt in my mind at that part like i was just waiting for it to happen when she started walking away right when she grabbed the, you know she was looking at the hat i was like yep it's gonna happen it's gonna happen <laughs> you know and guess what yeah it happens and yuya gets stabbed straight in the back um i like this episode a lot for the reason that you know alta year it was a mixture of emotions that we have not seen her before this is the first time we've actually seen any sort of weakness for her and honestly it's pretty exciting i really did enjoy the different expressions that we got from her it's usually that she has this cocky attitude that she know it's not really cocky because she knows that she's better than everyone she's her powers are literally just like it nothing applies pre pretty much there's nothing that can stop her she will use your you want to use your powers she can take that away you want to, you know, and reset you back to normal. You want to do this, she can reset that. You want to stab her, she can reverse it and make it stab you. It's like literally there's no way to be able to defeat her. So it made sense that they thought to, you know, make a character that was pretty much just like her. Um, add on a couple of things to make her stronger. As you did see, Altair was losing that battle. And it was actually like, I was like, holy crap. This is pretty awesome, man. Is is this how it's going to end? No ways, right? Because there's still two more episodes, you know? And yeah, of course, um, sorry guys, that didn't end up happening. Um, and it just made Altair even more pissed, pretty much. But I got to say, I did like Altair's, I like her new character design. I'm not going to lie. I actually liked it a lot better than her other one. And 
I mean, there's only two more episodes for us to see that her in that outfit, but I gotta say, I really did like that, you know, her character design. But overall, the episode, it was just a huge amount of just, you know, things going all over the place. I guess you could say it was kind of a build up to what Sota's plan was gonna be, because all along, I mean, we all knew, I mean, sure, there was a little bit of a chance that we were thinking, wait a minute, is this serious thing gonna be able to stop her? But in the back of our heads, I'm pretty sure even people who thought there was, you know, a huge chance, I bet in the back of your head, there was the chance that you knew that that was not going to end it all. Because come on, there's still two more episodes and everything, you know, what everyone expected was going to be the whole thing with Sota and whatever, you know, Magane was able to do by switching it off. A lie is a lie. Like she said, a lie is a lie. A lie that's a lie turns a lie inside out i think that's exactly what the quote was and honestly that that part right there i was like oh shit setsuna is going to be brought here isn't she and yep that's exactly what happens um everything seems lost it seems like they have no other options the only person left standing is blitz and he's literally not going to be able to take out altair we all know that you know and right when it looks like there's nothing they can do altair has won she is the hero of this story it's her story not anyone else's from the very beginning i love the way like they kind of had hikayu talking about that how you know it you know from the very beginning from the get-go it was they were never the heroes in this story it was always altair and it pretty much was honestly from the way that all of this started altair was the one who brought them all in here she was the one who planned everything out and she pretty much planned everything except of course obviously she didn't expect the serious you know serious to come out and obviously she did not expect that very ending as you saw her you know pretty much her expression was just like her jaw you know just dropped and hit the ground and is probably not going to be coming up anytime soon honestly but holy crap right when everyone said you know like it's just like pretty much like yeah whatever let's let's do it you know the world's going to end either way. Might as well try to do this. You know, might as well try to go with Sota's plan. Um, the acceptance level isn't going to work. Everyone's doubting it. Everyone's looking at it when Meteor starts to, you know, the spell. It doesn't look like it's going to work. And I really love the way that they had both, you know, Magane and Sota saying that line at the very same time. And then, boom, here we go. They get transported to where Setsuna ended up committing suicide, and she comes walking down the stairs. Altair just completely cannot believe what is going on, and then that was the end of the episode with Setsuna looking up at us. And honestly, I just got chills. I was like, holy shit. Yep, looks like it's what we all expected. It's pretty crazy because the way they did it, it we all a lot of us already expected this was going to happen. But the way they did it is that they played with our emotions with going from one point looking like everything was lost, bringing in Sirius, which I, I don't know if you guys expected that, but I damn straight did not expect them to go ahead and do that. And that made it even more exciting. It looked like things were going to be good for them. And then it looked too good to be true. And yeah, that's what happened. All seems lost. It seems like the world's going to end. Then, of course, Sota, we all, you know, in the back of our minds, we knew it was going to happen. And here it did happen. And honestly, even with knowing that it happened, it was one of those events that you just, even with us knowing already, it was still just so hyped. And honestly, I cannot wait to see how these next two final episodes go, honestly. I, I, I don't know how it's going to end. I mean, obviously, I'm pretty sure it's going to end with them winning. I mean, maybe there's a chance that it's a bad end and they end up losing. But it should definitely be interesting to see. The next episode is probably going to be the most emotional episode of them all, considering it is Altair and Setsuna being there. I'm wondering if the way Sota wrote her character, will she have all of her memories? Will it be an exact, you know, character, her exact person and everything? Is it pretty much like he's, re you know, reborn, she's being reborn in this, you know, written world kind of thing? I'm not too sure, but I am really excited to see how all of that will work. And yeah. That's all I really got to say about this episode. Definitely another awesome episode. Like these last several episodes, like I keep saying, it just gets better and better and better. And this episode got to be for, at least for me, the best episode of the entire season. And honestly, I cannot wait to see how these next two will go. But yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more content. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Um, I want to know as well, guys, how did you feel about this episode? Anything you want to talk about? Any prediction that's going to happen in the next one? I want to hear what you guys got to say because honestly, I'm just so hyped up and 
I don't know what else to say. I'm just going to keep saying I'm hyped up, I'm hyped up, I'm hyped up. So I'll end it here, guys. So until next time, see ya.